Hello, YouTubers. Welcome, welcome, welcome to P. Dinah. I hope you're doing well today. We have a really good story today, y'all. We have a good story. And I think it's a very pivotal, pivotal moment that we are waiting to see come to a head here. Now, Otis, no. Oh, I forgot the lotion. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Meghan Markle has an upcoming day in court that could set in motion a very embarrassing chain of events um, for her, her ego, her bruised ego. And I think this is a really important story because whatever happens on this day in terms of the courts and what they decide to do, is going to set in motion some 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 something that's going to just go off into never ever land <laughs> and it's going to be a really good one let's talk about it okay we got to read this story okay i want you to listen to this story because it's a really good story otis okay we're going to talk about it right now okay so much is writing on the outcome of November 8th. Y'all, November 8th is a pivotal day. Pivotal. Very important hearing that's going to be happening in Florida. And a judge is going to decide whether or not to allow this libel case, if they're going to allow it to go ahead. And I know there are laws around all of this, but sometimes you just got to have some common sense. <laughs> <laughs> because this is some really important issues that need to be cited because people's lives are at stake. Seriously, this is a life and death type of situation and the courts need to just snap it in the bud. They just need to just like, look, stop. They need to just stop what is happening with this woman. And the courts are going to be able to allow this to happen. Now, if you this I'm reading this article that's in Sky News and the uh, the writer of this article is... Um, Nigel Jones and he's saying oh this no no looky look please don't do that if you thought that there were more important things going on in the world than the bruised ego of the pampered princess then Meghan Markle is about to prove you wrong okay yeah because I don't know why the courts always say she's won or she's been allowed this to stop. She's been able to really get ahead with things. But this was prior to people really understanding and knowing who she is. She's been allowed to move forward with things. And we can see enough with our own common sense. Something's wrong with this woman. The, the lies, the, the ego, the nefarious behavior has shown itself. It's reared its ugly head. So lawyers for Megan will appear in a Florida courtroom next week to demand that the judge throw out the case that was brought on by Samantha Marco, alleging that Megan defamed her sister, her half sister, Samantha Marco, when she did this, this famous we know interview the train wreck as we call it from a couple of years ago because we knew it was heading for a train wreck during this train wreck of an interview with Oprah Winfrey in this interview and this whole thing that they did with Netflix there's been a couple of things that they've done mm -hmm. so a lot is going to be writing on this case and I just my goodness this is a time <laughs> for some serious intervention OK, so if the judge allows Samantha's lawsuit to go ahead, then Megan, get this, y'all, Megan is going to be forced to publicly produce embarrassing information during the discovery process. Things like her text messages, her emails, other private messages that are related to her siblings and her father, Thomas Markle. And we know that Thomas Markle has information that he has not shown the public, things that he will not even allow to be seen by the public because he knows it's damaging for his daughter and he is still protecting her. And what father wouldn't want to protect their daughter that they love? So we can't blame him for not wanting to produce things that are embarrassing for Megan. Things that I know exist, things that he's told me about. That he will not show. And let me tell you, if Thomas Markle is forced to show the things that he has received in the mail, this is going to be horrible for Megan. Horrible. 
this is why so much is riding on this day. Because it could change things from her head being this big <laughs> to being this small like this. Because you're going to be brought down several notches from this discovery process. Let's just get that straight. If the judge allows Samantha's lawsuit to go ahead, then Megan, she's going to be forced to do these things that I just mentioned. But we need we don't need a court ruling to tell us about Megan's somewhat flexible relationship with the truth. We've seen her caught in lies, many lies. For example, during the whole uh, Jason Knopf thing where he released emails from Megan where she was called out, busted, lied about cooperating with Omid Scobie, lied to the courts. And then Jason Knopf released, he was like, bam, he released text messages, emails from this woman that showed she was cooperating. She was working with Omid Scobie on the book Finding Freedom. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have denied contributing to the book. And if you didn't have any input from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, as you insist, how were you able to tell the full story? Well, this book was sort of born out of a very unique situation. As, as my time covering Harry and Meghan and speaking with those close to them, I realized that the sort of difference between what we were seeing about the couple and the pages of some of the British tabloids was very different to what I was seeing, sort of having a front row seat on the royal beat, and also from speaking from the, to those that work with them or know them. And so I felt like there was a chance here to tell another side of the story. And although there was no participation from the couple in the book, we were able to speak to some of the people closest to them within their inner circle, close friends, uh, palace aides, past and present as well as people they've worked with in their charitable spaces and, of course, in Megan's entertainment career as well. I don't understand. Like, how can you just lie, 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 lie and not be accountable? Like, something wrong with you, something wrong with you. Mm -hmm. We need those libel courts. We need that libel. We need that libel case to, to move forward. Oh, yes, we need the judge. To say, yes, we demand to see the truth because this woman, she lie. That's all she know how to do is lie, lie. That's a lie. There's another lie. <laughs> That's a lie. Oh, I know you lying now, girl. Yes, you lying. <laughs> yes, we got to have the courts tell us, yes, we need to see uh, the truth. Let's just let discovery proceed, please. Discovery. Let's discover. Let's discover the, the emails, the texts, the phone calls, everything. Just bring it out, y'all. Just bring it out. We need to see the truth. Because this Duchess over here, she don't know how to tell the truth. She know how to lie. I know that. But in public, they lied. You know, they were able to say, no, we don't have nothing to do with that book. You know, you know, finding freedom. Mm -mm, I ain't got nothing to do with that. But all behind the scenes, they were texting. Uh, say this. Ask this question. Find out this. Because I know my sister Samantha this and my sister Samantha that. Now, if Megan did not know her sister, Samantha, like she says, she grew up an only child during these Netflix and Oprah Winfrey interview. If that were the case, then these emails prove otherwise because she had firsthand information about her sister. So that's why discovery is so important, because it can it can smack your lies into the truth, smack it into the truth. <laughs> you lying and the truth comes smacking you in the face like, oh, here's the truth. Oh, OK, shoot, that hurt. I didn't want to see the truth. And that's the problem that she has. She don't want to get smacked down with the truth. This is why when she lies, she can make her truth be the lie, because no one's going to investigate or see the actual truth behind the matter. She can say, well, I grew up an only child. I only felt like an only child is how I felt. But how did you feel when you wrote the emails to Jason Knopf, giving him lies about your sister to be discussed in the book Finding Freedom? I mean, imagine if you've lived your whole life with this idea that this is your sister. You watched her. You did things with her. There are photos of you together. And then she, the said younger sister, becomes famous and starts saying all these things. Well, I don't know her. <laughs> I grew up an only child. How would that make you feel? Would you not feel slighted and disrespected and just slapped in the face? So as, he, um, as we can see, we are waiting for information to come out 
next week, November 8th, because people need to smack down the lies of Meghan Markle, because if she doesn't, she can continue to ruin people's lives by trying to create her fairy tale from the lies. And the only way we can get out of this whole Megan telling her story and people believing her story like the majority of the black people that support this woman believe her lies. They have harassed Samantha. They have caused her so much damage to her own personal life because of Meghan Markle. And the only way to be fair to Samantha and to be fair to what the actual truth is is to allow discovery, allow information to come out that's going to smack down the lies of Meghan Markle, smack down the things that you have lied about, smack down your fairy tale that you have put in your head, smack it down. Because it's not fair that you can go out there and lie on people while ruining other people's lives that you clearly have relationships with, like your half sister, Samantha. Let it all out. I think a day of reckoning has to come for Meghan Markle. She has done so many bad things that she has never really had to be accountable. The courts need to make her accountable for all the negative things she has done to people because the truth is the only way to see the big picture. The truth is the only way to get these women, these black women, especially who believe everything that Megan says. That's the only way to smack the truth into their heads too. bring the truth out in discovery. Bring the text messages. Let us see it. Let us see all the lies that this woman has said. Because the lies have compounded. You have defamed your sister, Meghan Markle. It is time for the courts to set you straight and to let the truth out. Because I'm not sitting here just saying these things just because, 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 because I'm saying these things because, oh, yes, I know the truth. I know the truth. We need the world now to know the truth. Let's see what happens on November 8th.